What's going on, YouTube? Culture Dog Sam Hatch back here with another laser disc video. Yeah, no, I've been putting out a lot of Blu-ray stuff, oh, or not putting out anything at all. I apologize for uh, disappearing pretty much all through the month of, month of March. Finally, put a hard deadline on getting my band's video uh, for our song "The Horizon" out, and uh, it was a ton of late, you know, three in the morning on a work night nights trying to get that thing finished. And it's it's up. I'll put the link below if you want to check it out. Uh, it's over on the Stuff of the Drama YouTube page. So that put me completely off the grid pretty much for all sorts of other video work. And uh, and then, yeah, now I've got all these Blu-ray reviews to put out. I just got a box of probably eight or nine more Blu-rays in the mail today. So I pretty much need to quit my job and just watch movies all day, which would be amazing. But anyways, um, we're getting back into Laserdisc. I had picked up a few things over the past couple months, and uh, thanks be to just about everybody out there in the Laserdisc community. Uh, I mean, it had been, I mentioned before, it's been a rough last year here in the Culture Dog household, and, you know, things are starting to turn around and, and, and look up now, but just the amount, the sheer amount of goodwill and, you know, benefactors who had just came out of the woodwork was stunning, and I really appreciate it, and, you know, just... So many cool, like, kind of Santa Clauses out there, <laughs> left and right, that were willing to, to kind of help out and uh, and keep it going. I hear a lot about the vinyl community, love train, and the vinyl community, but, you know, the Laserdisc community is uh, second to none, and really just, uh, I mean, th there isn't a term for it, but it's just everybody's really cool, and uh, really cool with spreading the love out there and sharing the wealth, and, uh, yeah, so I had a lot of great discs come my way because of that, and it helps give me something to talk about in videos as well, which is awesome. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I will start with the James Bond stuff. I've been, again, slowly working my way to completing my James Bond uh, collection of NTSC titles. Uh, I'm just about done with Japan and slowly getting through the U.S. discs. And um, Brian Snyder on Facebook, shout out to Brian! was selling some Bond discs, so I picked up some of those. So we'll show them quickly. These are the older uh, uh, pan and scan versions and um, sometimes time compressed as well, which is, which is so weird. I don't know why they time compressed some of these. I mean, obviously some of those were to fit you know, a longer movie onto one disc, but some of them were already on one disc in the first place. So who knows? Um, but this is the CBS Fox reissue. I still need the 20th Century Fox uh video version but dr no cool artwork love that key artwork this and the ced artwork is really impressive stuff um so yeah i'll uh, eventually watch this even though it's uh because i think these were hard matted so even though you could theoretically have an open mat which if you're on the list is forever page you know that's a trigger word <laughs> trigger phrase of mine um, but you could theoretically have an open map presentation to this, but I, I do believe they were hard matted to 1.66 to 1. I could be wrong, or slightly next to that, because I've noticed a lot of these are still panned and scanned uh, on home video. So, yeah, I'll take it that for a spin. And uh, what else? Thunderball. This one they gave two discs. Cool artwork there. Um, pretty uh, simple stuff. A uh, little bit of bend on the jacket there, but it'll uh, do for now. Eventually, I'll try and seek out, like, pristine copies of all of these, but I just want to at least get them for now. Speaking of cool artwork, uh, this is uh, some amazing <laughs> stuff here. You Only Live Twice, <laughs> casually flying the gyrocopter, of course. And, uh, again, uh, there's a little bit of a corner bend there, but... Still looks decent. Not one of my favorites in the series, but had to get it for the Pan and Scan collection. Diamonds are forever. One disc, and it's running 119 minutes, so yeah, just under the wire. Another single disc, Live and Let Die. And another single disc, and you know this one's time compressed because there's no way this movie would fit another 119 minutes. I call shenanigans. 
the spy who loved me. And uh, that just about gets me caught up on the CBS Fox discs. And uh, then, interestingly, MGM UA came out with their own version of Octopussy right off the bat um, in 1983. So I had to get that. Some uh, pretty cheesy 80s rainbow graphics on there. I feel like I'm playing a vintage video game firing this thing up. Uh, fortunately, uh, the jacket's a little bent and, and you know, Worse for the wear, but at least the spine's still readable. But it's actually two discs, believe it or not. Uh, this one I was a little disappointed in. This one's pretty ganked and, and, and worn, so I'm going to have to get a new version of this. But it's the original widescreen edition from CBS Fox for License to Kill. That's the same kind of gray jacket they used to use all the time. So you've seen Star Wars and Die Hard with these for quite a bit. And it's got a got a gatefold. And I actually got a freebie from Emiliano on uh, LaserDisc Forever. So thanks, buddy, for sending this my way. Shout out to Emiliano. Uh, likewise, the, the jacket's a little beat, but it's really hard to find these uh, in a clean condition. Um, I, I don't know why. They're just always a little bit beat up anyway. So I just wanted to have it. GoldenEye, but in pan and scan. Yeah, I mean, interestingly, GoldenEye across the world was pretty much always uh, letterboxed, but there was a pan and scan version released in the States with the same special features in uh, on the other discs. And, uh, yeah. It does... Sh it has the same gatefold. Still has AC3, which is pretty cool. And, yeah, one step closer to having every version of GoldenEye. And uh, Moiki hooked up a uh, another pressing of Moonraker that I was looking for. And this is a gatefold too, but it's in a in a sleeve, and I'm too lazy to take it out, so I apologize. Um, but the version that I actually picked up from Kevin Kobos was a Japanese pressing of this. That's not even listed in the LDDB, so I need to add that. Um, so I'm going to get the U.S. pressing. And uh, Moiki had it, so he uh, he made it happen, because he's the magic man. Shout out to Moiki! And uh, then, oh, huge shout out to uh, Seamus Walsh from Laserdisc Forever as well. He had uh, reached out to me a while ago about uh, some Hong Kong discs he had. Uh, he's been traveling around. You know, he just moved back to Ireland from Japan, I think. But I know he was in Hong Kong for a while and had a couple of James Bond discs and knew I was a, a major Bond collector. So he reached out and, and sent me a couple things that was very cool, including a little bonus disc, which we'll see in a bit. Uh, but one of which was a disc I'd seen on the 007 Home Video Collectors page. Uh, it's not on the LDDB either, I don't think. But ERA was like the large kind of provider of James Bond releases in Hong Kong. And uh, eventually in the 90s, they did like issue the entire series. And I've got a few of those releases. They're uh, kind of hard to find. But um, this one is bef like right before that series kicked off. So I don't know, maybe early 90s or so. But it is Moonraker. Love the crazy busy cover. It even tells you it's from a D2 master, which is uh, pretty neat. Something I don't think I've ever seen uh, proclaimed on a laser disc jacket before. Um, but yeah, digital sound and all that good stuff. It is. Um, oh yeah, Warner Brothers. It is two discs, but it is not a uh, gatefold. Uh, so that was awesome. And he also hooked me up with this one, uh, which completes my NTSC GoldenEye collection. Uh, again, a lot of cool things on the cover here. The ERA logo, MGM UA, um, does have AC3. And it's in widescreen. Most of the Hong Kong discs I have are, um, are pan and scan, except for this and uh, maybe one other, I think. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool that it's widescreen. Popped it in, it actually looks good. And uh, yeah. I uh, get another double disc, but not a gatefold, but super awesome to have that. So mega thanks to Seamus for hooking that up. Uh, then he mentioned he was just throwing in another disc. And uh, 
just happened to see it and I was like, this looks vaguely familiar, but I don't think I ever checked it out. Uh, so we watched it at laser lunch at work and it was way fun. But yeah, it's a Larry Ferguson flick with Charlie Sheen, Linda Fiorentino, Michael Madsen, Courtney Vance, and uh, many more called Fixing the Shadow. Also known as, I think, Beyond the Law or Be- uh, Bound for Chickens or something like that in the States. Uh, but basically, Charlie Sheen is an undercover cop uh, in- infiltrating a biker gang in Arizona. And it's apparently based on a true story read in like a porno mag from the early 80s. Um, but it's the right level of, of, you know, intrigue and cheese and yeah, definitely heavy on the cheese. I'll have to do a review of this at some point, but from Panorama, which is cool. I've got a lot of DVDs, uh, that I bought later that were from Panorama. Um, yeah, so I didn't know they were around back in the least disc days, but this was a total hit at, at work. So thanks Seamus for hooking that up. Shout out to Seamus. Uh, and then. B and Cardi Claws flew over the house too. Uh, Peter has been getting a lot of crazy stuff, uh, you know, boxes of random mystery discs, etc. And uh, yeah, so he happened to have some uh, new new uh, doubles and things like that. So he sent me some things. So, yeah, mega thanks to Peter for uh, hooking me up with these discs. Shout out to Peter. Shout out to Peter. He had a uh, bunch of just random things that he's like, I'm going to send you some random stuff and you're going to find out what it is. So um, one of them was the Japanese version. Great cover art on this too of Independence Day, aka ID4. Love that these have the Dolby Digital uh, sticker right on the sleeve. Uh, Really cool titles. And uh, I've not seen this in a dog's age. Saw this actually saw this at a test screening in Los Angeles uh, the first time I saw it um, before it came out um, back in 97. Goodwill Hunting. That might have been the last time I actually saw this thing or in full. So, yeah. Gus Van Zant flick. And uh, also, super uplifting flick. Man, I saw this in the theaters too back in, what was this, 96, 97? But, um... Uh, I want to say 96, but phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Phenomenon. John Travolta there. The cover art's weird. Like when you look at it up close, it looks actually pretty like low resolution. Um, but it's not a bootleg. It's real. <laughs> Again, Dolby Digital and uh, great packaging. The Japanese discs are, are just packaged really well. And the gatefolds uh, and, and actually all the. All the uh, jackets are made out of really thick cardboard, so they hold up well. And uh, this was the other release that Peter warned me he was sending, and he also said that I have to watch it at Laser Lunch, so I'll be documenting that soon. Sister Act 2, back in the habit. (laughs) Whoopi Goldberg returning for more nuntastic adventures. Um, Then (laughs) there were a couple couple box sets there was a little bit of a contest run through facebook and the first two guys that won you know demurred and uh you know didn't want the actual goods so uh i got them and i uh, was definitely more than happy to bring them into the house because uh, i don't have these already uh, box sets of the lion king which is uh really nice it's uh, a little sun faded on the side but who cares it's still got the uh ob strip on the the box itself and here I'll take a little bit of a spin through really it killer artwork on the jacket that's the flick itself Uh, disc one so these are all in a C C A V I uh, love this art, too, for disc two. And the supplemental disc, disc three. Also comes with some postcards. Collectible foam inserts. It 
LDC survey card. I better fill that out and get that back. And a uh, portfolio of lithographs. Which is pretty cool. Let's break these bad boys out. Oh yeah, this opens up even more. Rawr. And then this folds down to reveal the lithographs. Yeah, really cool watercolor looking lithographs. Suitable for framing, as they say. Surfing on Pumbaa. So yeah, that's that sucker. Very cool. So I was uh, very thankful to receive that. And the other disc in that set was another box. The uh, Japanese box set, which is, again, gorgeous for Beauty and the Beast. It's a lot more serious of a box set than I had anticipated when I had originally seen you know, these up for sale. A lot of other people showing them in their collections. Um, it's got some information here. It looks like uh, corrections. Says something about the LD graphics as well, but not sure what. But yeah, it's got the film, killer art, awesome, awesome jacket there. Um, and then it does have the work in progress disc. Interestingly, not in a gatefold, um, but same key art essentially as the US versions, but without the rot, which is nice. But the work in progress disc one. in disc two. And the insert about LD graphics explaining what that is. Collectible foam insert. And a small making of book. Which is, uh, you know, got some great artwork in here. Very nice. But wait, there's still more. There are, of course, the box sets heard around the world. <laughs> there was a a uh, bit of a bone of contention amongst Moiki and myself because uh, Peter sent me some killer box sets that he had doubles of. And uh, Moiki, of course, already had them. He was just being a, a D-bag. But uh, well, as he does so, lovably. But these were the box sets, and I did not have them. And uh, very, very happy to have them uh, now. Again, love the, the kind of matted finish of this sucker. Uh, Planet of the Apes, the collection. Really hefty stuff. A uh, little sun fading on the side again, but pff, who cares, man? These are awesome discs. Yeah, it's a great set. I just love the feel of it. Just feels like quality. Um, comes with a cool kind of pop art looking booklet. The ton of information. It did have the original OB as well, but uh, I put that on the inside. Um, but very simple and way cool jackets. Again, really thick cardboard. Here's the first film, Planet of the Apes. Single disc. Um, here's Beneath. Escape from. Conquest of. And 
and of course Battle for the Planet of the Apes. And this was the uh, only way you could see the longer version of this for a while. I do believe it's on Blu-ray now, uh, but it's a 96 minute version and yeah, super, super cool. So in your face, Mikey. And the final box set, which is a masterpiece. Awesome stuff. I just love the, the kind of faux leather look on this thing. The Indiana Jones trilogy. Cool kind of vellum obi strip on here. The uh, gilded artwork. Sick stuff. Love the uh, faux book spine look on the side there. Amazing stuff. And uh, this one doesn't open out with a popped lid, but side loading. And it comes with of course a collectible booklet. Uh, the one cool thing I like about this is it's got a rundown of the cast and crew, etc. Uh, but one other cool thing is it's got Uh, a map of Indy's uh, locations that he visits during his adventures, so I thought that was really fun. And all of the credits for all the films, which are Raiders of the Lost Ark. Interesting artwork on these things, too. I mean, it's got the original uh, poster art, but it's got the cool kind of stone surrounding also with a uh, LD graphics temple of doom and of course the last crusade which is a little bit darker kind of artwork on this one and this one is a except for this side <laughs> this one is a gatefold really really gorgeous and what's cool is that they also included a bonus disc with two sides first side is making of raiders of the lost ark and the second side is the making of indiana jones and the last crusade so very very nice box set and peter is a saint for being the benefactor for much of the ld community and uh yeah i really appreciate the uh injection of fresh LD box set goodness. Put these back. So that's it for the first half. I also received a box that finally bobbed its way along the ocean and landed on the east coast of the United States. And uh, now we're going to dig into some Japanese discs next. Next, Not that those weren't Japanese discs as well, but they were uh, sent to Peter first and then to me. <laughs> these ones were sent directly to me. Uh, so yeah, fresh batch of Japanese discs up next. So thanks for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, checking out some of these laser discs. Cheers.